This is my prediction for the woman 400 meter dash. Let's get straight into it. For fifth place, we got Lee Quaver. Her season best is a 49.58. She's a world champion. She's an Olympic champion. She's a world silver medalist. And she also an indoor champion. Her personal best on the 400 is a 49.58, where she ran in July, not long ago. She finished second in the indoor world championship. I can definitely see her make the top five list, but it's not a promise for her because there's people that are really close to her and I can sneak in at any time. So if she be her, I can definitely see her make it to the top five. For the full spot, we're going to wait. Rashida Adeliki. Her PR this season is a 4907. That's also her personal best. She went out in June. A lot of people put her on top three. I think it really, it's really hard to put her on top three. She's having a good season. I can't see her making it to top three. The three other people have in front of her. I don't see her beating them, but anything can happen. It's possible. She currently ranked fourth right now. And the reason I didn't put her a little bit higher because she really young. She only 21. And she got a little bit of experience, but not much. She finished fourth in the World Championship at Budapest with a 50 13. So she was close to get a medal. That's tough. I put her fourth again, but so I'm going to keep her at. But this season, she really been putting herself on the list because every time she happened on 4 by 4 she went a sub 49. So really impressive. I remember one time I was watching her. She went two sub 49, which was really impressive. Help her team winning medals and stuff like that. I'm interested to see what she's going to do. But for now, I'm going to keep her up at the fourth spot. Because the two people I have in front of her, I think they have a better opportunity to medal than she does. For the third spot, we got Palomino from Dominican Republic. I definitely could see her rank a little higher, but this season have not been the best for her. She ranked seven right now. Her season best is at 49.20. If you know her, she went out in July not long ago. But if you know her, you know we always wanted to see her to match up her versus Sydney. And we never really got the opportunity to see it because Sydney don't want to win the 400. But she a two-time world champion and two-time Olympic silver medalist and two-time Diamond League winner and two-time world championship silver medalist. So she got experience, and that's one reason I'm putting her on, on top three. Her personal best is a 48.76. In Budapest, she won it with a 48.76. That is also her personal best. And Olympic in Tokyo, she finished second, beating Alison Felix. So yeah, with her experience, and I can definitely see her. And I see her run a couple times. She run like she won it. So I definitely see her going for a medal. For the second spot, I've been seeing a lot of people making the prediction for the woman, and they do not include her on the list. And the second spot, I'm putting Natalia from po from Poland. Her personal best this season is a 48.90. That is also her personal best, which she won in July, not a long time ago, which currently ranked third right now. She's an Olympic champion, Olympic silver medalist, and two-time world champion silver medalist, and world indoor champion, where she finished second. She won a lot of 48 this season, and... I'm definitely excited to see what she's going to do. She finished second in Budapest with a 49.57 behind Paulino from Dominican Republic. She have won a lot of 49s, and I definitely see her going to make it top top three, at least top five. She got experience. She's a medalist. She medal in this event already, and in a competitive field. So I don't see nothing new. I think she will definitely go in to get a medal in this field also. For the number one spot from Jamaica, we got Nakisha Price. She's been going really crazy this season with a 48.57 personal best and also her season best where she went out in July, where she also beat Natalia. Her 48.57 ranked number one right now. She's a world silver medalist with the 4x4, four four, and she's a Diamond League winner, three-time NCAA champion, and two-time national champion. Most of those happened this year. She started going crazy this year. She's been winning a lot of great time this season, and I definitely see her going to medal. She might not get first place, but she definitely going to get that top three based on the time she be running. Only reason she might not get top three is if she have like a dead leg. Because after a long NCAA season, indoor plus outdoor, she went like more than 2400s already. So the dead leg could start kicking in. But after that, I definitely see her coming on top with a medal, especially coming with the faster time. She only 23, but all the way she have ran, I look at 10, 400. And out of 10, 400, she only lost two, and those two were indoor, which really not, not a big deal, if you know what I'm saying. 
And even this season, we see her going against going against people just fast as her. And they should be coming on top with great time. So I definitely see her coming out with a medal. And this is my prediction for the women 400. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Let's get it.